Our Growth Point teaching today takes us to Acts chapter 15, verse number 39, and it reads as follows. They had such a sharp disagreement that they parted company. This verse reminds us that Paul and Barnabas had a disagreement, and then Scripture says it was a sharp disagreement. Barnabas went one direction, Paul went another direction. But they did not allow this disagreement to affect their uh, relationship with God. They were able to still maintain their integrity. And we read later on in Scripture that their friendship was, was reunited and that they were able to continue uh, to work together. So what does this verse remind us? It reminds us that, yes, we are going to have disagreements with people. And when we have disagreements with people, we need to maintain our integrity. We need to uh, maintain our relationship with the Lord, that, that we do our very best to have a right relationship with the Lord and, and with other people. As much as possible, we, we are encouraged to live at peace with everyone. But there are seasons and there are times where uh, relationships may take a pause or, or they may come uh, to a close. And, and we want to be able to maintain our integrity. We want to be able to honor God and, and respect the, the other individual. Uh, when we uh, part company, when, when there are times where we need to end a relationship, we want to do so in a way that honors God and in a way that we are able to uh, stay true to who we are. So we don't want to belittle that person. We don't want to end that relationship in anger and talk bad about that person. But we need to maintain our integrity and our Christianity. And I realize that uh, this is many times much easier said than done. But as we bring these situations and relationships to the Lord, He's able to work in us and through us to accomplish His purposes. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, may we honor you in our relationships with you, with one another, and when there are times that disagreements occur and that we need to part company, may we maintain our integrity and may we maintain a right relationship with you so that we can do all this for your honor and your glory. I pray this prayer of blessing over you. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. Because of you, Jesus, and the hope of heaven, we believe and we know the best is yet to come. Amen.